This is right. grief. Grief stands for getting rid of irritable emotional feelings. It's a platform yeah. for men, especially, just to talk, man, because they say that we don't talk enough. They say that guys don't speak. They say that yeah. we, we bottle up emotions and feelings and we don't talk. So this platform yeah. really for us to have a con I'm, I'm going to turn off the notifications because people will have a whole heap to say that they don't, we don't need them to say. So let me turn this off one second. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Right, so we can get into it properly, man. So firstly, I have to but, ask you, brother, how are you? Yeah, man, do you know what? I'm great, bruv. Like, this lockdown, I don't know, man. Like, it's I, it's, I don't like it because there's enough things that I can't do, but at the same time, I'm not really doing anything that different. I'm still living the same way. And obviously, I can't go to certain places, but... Apart like gym, can't do certain things. But apart from that, I feel like it just makes you more productive. But within yourself, as a person, what you're going through, do you feel like lockdown or COVID or anything's getting to you? Or are you like, you know what, I'm all right. Because I'll give you an example. That's, this this um, week, right, in the last week, I've had like eight people message me and call me to tell me their mum's dad died or their dad's died. Mad. I've got three friends now who are in ICU fighting for their life. Man. So I ain't gonna lie, like for me, I was gonna cancel today's show and be like, it's too much, man. Like I've got too much death yeah. around me. It was just and I thought, nah, you know what? This platform is bigger than me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's bigger than me, man. And if I can kinda help inspire and encourage some people, that's what I wanna do. So when I yeah, ask yeah. how are you doing, I don't mean on the out outward size. I mean how how is Castillo that like, how are you doing in regards to everything that's going on around you? Are you okay? This is a brother to a brother asking. Right, you know I'll be honest with you, like, do you know what it is here? Like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I've probably been through so much things. This is just like, this is just normal, bruv. Like, I don't know, man. I don't, when it comes to feelings and all that stuff, I feel like I'm quite, like, immune to a lot of things. Like, I'm more, I'm more just irritated that we can't do certain things. And I just feel sometimes like, you know, like when, I just feel like there's a lot of, misinformation a lot of mad things going on because you don't know the truth that bothers me more than anything else because like sometimes i just want to know what's really going on in it and i think i'm always trying to find answers because but because i would there's no way i'd ever know what's really going on in it so it's almost like you just got to wait out and then just let everything happens but that probably bothers me more than anything else that's just that there's that thought on my mind but apart from that i just try to like not think about it too much, otherwise that will make me go a bit mad. Just thinking, right, like I'm, we're actually locked down, like can't do nothing for real. You I've got I mean? a question for you. I've got go a question on. for you, and I meant, to, but I wanted, I wanted to actually wait until oh, yeah. now, as before I asked you. So on your page, you posted a picture of you, right? Where yeah, you yeah, yeah. kind of chubby afro, yeah, mad and, fat, man. yeah, yeah, fat, like, yeah. Let's go there. You, you was the fat boy, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the fat boy, and now when I see you, like, often. We're filming the other day. I see you're in shape and you're all ripped and all the rest of it. You see when no, you... No, I'm not ripped. I wish, bruv. Like, I well, wish. No, but I'm saying you're, you're in shape, though. You're in shape. You're in shape. I'm saying yeah, you're yeah, in yeah. shape. So you see when you posted that, at that age there, was yeah. you, was you um, I, I say, bullied? Did people... Was that a catalyst that made you say, nah, I need to get in shape? Or like, what was it? No, no. The reason, to be honest with you, it's like a mixture of things. The reason I really wanted to get in shape, yeah, like... I think I, just, I I wanted to get girl, bruv. I wasn't getting nothing, bruv. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie to you. Like, like, my life was, it was just rubbish. But I think what really bothered me at that age the most was the fact that, although I was big, I think what bothered me the most was that I had to deal with it by myself in the sense that, like, people wouldn't ever try and fight me because obviously I was a big, I was a big kid, innit? Yeah, but... Mm. It's like more insults and stuff. But then that would bother me also because in school, like, I'd ask my mum, like, what should I do when people say stuff to me? And she'd never say fight them because she'd say, if you fight them, then you're going to get kicked out of school. So I think I was always bothered at the frustration that I couldn't do anything to anybody. So I just had to kind of grit my teeth and take abuse. And I couldn't, if I did anything, my mum's there telling me, you can't do nothing, don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Then I always felt like I was in like a, a rock and a hard place, like almost like, right, I can't defend yourself. I can't, do anything to these people so i just have to take it otherwise i'll just get kicked out of school i don't like do you know what i mean i just felt like i was really really stuck and i think that's probably what bothered me because then when you don't have no answers or you don't know anything then you're just in a hard stuck place but i guess that's where i just had to find how to make jokes out of it so then mm. people would always cuss me so what i would just do i just built up like a defense thing where i just got really good at cussing people so mm. that's probably where the humor comes from in a sense where I guess I had to be funny in order to, like, not let things bother me, innit? 
Okay. But, so that's your defense mechanism, kind of like. Yeah, because I couldn't like out of school. I could fight people to defend myself. Like if it was around my state, but in school, I was more worried about getting kicked out of school because obviously my mum's telling me don't, don't do this. Like you, this is the UK. You can't just do this stuff. You get kicked out, and then. I was thinking about all the stuff she had to do for me, like, and everything. And obviously, she's not my real mum in it. It's my grandmother, all that. So I was thinking I'd let I her down. If I, I didn't know yeah, yeah, I'm adopted by my grandmother, innit? I'm oh, adopted so got, both. Okay, so you got, got, I got fostered. So, yeah, I get it, man. Yeah. I, get it. I, I was fostered yeah, from, from the age of three months old. Yeah, you know see I mean? what I'm saying? So it's like, it's that responsibility to my, to my grand, knowing that she didn't have to raise me. So I thought, imagine I get kicked out of school after everything that we've been to, like, everything we've been through together. Like, imagine I get kicked out of school. Now she thinks, like, everything she's done is for a waste. So that's why I felt like I was in such a weird situation. So I guess after that, I just thought to myself, the only way you're going to do it, I guess, is if you're in school, you just have to cast them back, innit? Like, what can you do? Can't and you know what? One thing I, would, I did want to ask you, because I've always found, like, I mean, when the first time I saw you, I used to see you in, back, in the, back in the days and the ends, and I used to see yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, where does this guy come from, man? Because yeah. you've got, like, your look is so unique. Like, yeah. like where, where, where are your parents from? Like, where are you from? Um, my biological mum, she's Dominican. She's from Dominica, she's black. And then my dad is Indian from Grenada. But I only oh. met when I was 23. Okay. So I didn't know where I was for a minute until I was 23. So when you was probably seeing me and wondering where I was from, I probably didn't know either. Wow. See, that in yeah. itself, man, brother, how did you deal with that? That in itself is trauma. Like, I don't know if you listened to the early part of the show, but imagine growing up not knowing where you're from, yeah. It's a real head fuck, man. 